Invoker. To succeed. I think he's pressuring Invoker pretty well. Oh, he grabs the Hatred. He's going to be coming mid, but mm. Axe is under the tower and they're hiding the Courier. Very smart. Yeah, he wants it. On the Z3, they're going to try and finish him off with some more right clicks. They might be successful here as, yep, sure enough, Yoku is going to be the one with a long range arrow to pick up the first block. And there it is. Ooh, that bounce. Good Mystic Snake bounce. Limp's getting a. He's in about 16 to 1 compared to the Beastmaster's 19 to 5. Now the roll in, and G. Well, they might have a higher CS. He may still lose this lane. His call goes out. All they need is the Zero Field to finish him off. One more, and there it is. Z Freak will claim the last hit. Do you think this is uh, the kind of sink lane, Quaswix, and both? You don't go to Midas this game? Do you think you just have aggressive fighting items? Uh, it's definitely a lot safer to go that build. I don't really feel like Orchid is a super good solution here. They try for mid. Kick misses for the moment. Still going to be able to get the call. Man, he's going to be able to get some spin, hopefully. But gee, wow, man, he's just not getting the time. And he is all over everybody with this Firefly. Let to take out soon for the Validate. It looks like the last couple right clicks come in to secure it. Another kill for Virtus Pro, 2-1 to one now. The Axe certainly isn't picking up, I think, as much as they hoped. So it really does come back to the Invoker as Chessy. Rather than could be slowed down even further as he's going to be initiated on it. Final Roar, Freezing Field, trying to keep the Jiris back. He's not successful, but maybe they can get turnaround kills. The save from the Oracle, FNG. But G himself is still going to be slowed down enough that he will obviously die. The blink back for the Batrider, but it looks like he still went down. The Freezing Field wow. damage through the Oracle Ultimate was enough to pop him off. But I don't think they got a single heal. Most likely, yeah, definitely. That's that's what he was doing every single game. Uh, Blade for the game. I'm not sure if I'm pretty okay, I guess. I don't think Blade Mail is as effective as normally is, but it's still kind of such a good effect. No fear. Gold snap and no, oh, the ramp is not quite enough to finish off. He's gonna get a little bit of because we'll be able to survive with the right click of the Chessy. Now Chessy's gonna be stuck under the flames of FNG. Chessy validating on him. It's gonna be enough to take him down. They've already traded one, and it will be for nothing to one. Four to four now the bottom lane. G's gonna be taking the tier one. He stopped Windows in his tracks, gets the right clicks, no deny for you. Here's Windows, and now G will calmly walk himself away. Yep, basically Swindles can't do so, but I think they learned their lesson last game. If they don't kill him right away, it's a really bad situation to start off with. They would have basically Tornado EMP without her being able to cast ultimate. If they do that, yeah, they can kill her, but that's pretty much everything. Well, they start now to the death point. They think they can do this one, but the damage goes down. Swindle so he's going to take a chance, but still not this primal roar with Ravaging. Swindle's is going to be able to save his life. But it's not enough. The magic moves do damage. BP is enough to be able to take it. The ball oh, is oh, There goes the call. Let's going to take on one. He's looking for a low on damage. He's coming right out. The manager is going to get it. Now he does. Takes out the Oracle. FG, make it three. He's not lit. Well, unable to get over that cliff. It's going to stick onto Yoko instead. It's vertical thought. Oh, pickoff oh was going to be the way to start this one. But it actually turns into tears for them as they're waiting on the fifth hero to go down. Jump forward. Another call. Triple kill for Limp. There was so much damage done by DP there. The fact that he was able to get his ultimate off oh, as soon as no. team got there, it changed everything. Uh, see that river war that's placed out by complex read of old here, top lane, Aloha Dance. And this is maybe the kind of what we're talking about. Uh, a pick off of Aloha Dance definitely gonna help out mech and false cross team be out. Aloha Dance gonna live through this one. No. The kick actually stops him. Maybe if he got back to the fountain and got some regen, he could have lived, but no way. To VP to make mistakes, kill the map vision, and uh, try to better fights against your opponents. Smoke for smoke, who's gonna be running into who, and who will have the high ground advantage right now? It's coming right now. Dire Seeker Trump, pick off the Pickoff, and Jesse, he's instantly gone, and Complex, you don't even try and do anything here. Now, FNG's actually gonna be looking for more. Quickly force himself and flying oh, to the right hand side, but Z Freak, he actually caught, he's gonna go for the TPI, he's gonna use disables, uh, and break, and yeah, yep, okay. he's away. I, I don't know where you, they use Flame Break on Batrider, but I think he, he threw it out there to maybe get some uh, some sort of vision or something. He, I knew he threw it out to the right when he was kind of like four staffing. Look, Crystal Mid. Oh, Muskin. Yeah, he's got. Whoa, Flame Break bounced him over a little bit farther. The axe chopped at the trees and they get the kill. Anymore. Oh, yeah. Now he does pure damage, damage. So it's like. <laughs> Well, he attacks hard, I guess. That's that's cool. Yeah, and we saw it. Oh, he's like, oh, come on, Jesse. Oh, dear. Oh, back in the last open. It's going to play an interrupt with the call. Will be able to grab no fear. Stopping that death ward. Chessy goes for a couple right clicks, but he still ends up going to kill. And Lynn, 
Maybe it's the Coley play. Thinks out okay out for a couple of speeds. Us at this fight. And it looks to be going even worse. Now the rest of the team start coming forward. G is going to be able to find more on the Zebra. Grab it. Big grab it. So Mike's going to try and turn this one around. Three to field. Side right outside of range. And will be stopping the play break. G tries to run out. What is up by Lynn? KB activated with the zone case going out. Caught multiple heroes there with that one. But the damage just really isn't seem to be enough. Heard it from they overestimated their team fight power. Now they need to be able to get the hell out of here from Aloha Dance. Can't really save you. He's continuing to go for one click, but not able to kill anybody here. And will eventually get popped just like that. Complexity. It cost them a buyback there from uh, Chelsea. But well worth it is they managed to take down three heroes of Vertis Pro. Thinking here, do they really believe they can kill Chessie twice in a row with Lasso, Primal Roller? Maybe there's going to be a boot to troll TP in as well. Complexity will be able to resolve. Oh, 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 oh no, Lasso and Primal Roller use. This is not good at all. Maybe they'll kill one time Chessie. We did TP out by FNG and they know they really should pooch on this initiate. G is going to be the one caught, perhaps, though, as they do have the battle hunger slowing it down. G tries to go for the TPL. Lim can't stop with no calls up, and unfortunately, Z3 can't be there in time. So he's a lumberjack, but he's rapidly becoming more of a stone mix. I never knew I wanted to use character in my life so bad. Slow <laughs> down. Take the things of damage here, but do so. Okay, force down save. Keep that mana intact. Lim going for the next round. It's going to be Chetu. They will get off once they get to the initiation. Dropping lower and lower, but of course, Dap gets him over the cliff, and Yo can't keep him in place. He's going to get the wall oh, roaring to the cancel down the window, landed to get a rabbit. Only clip from the FNG, but a refresher rabbit will be all the better as they get four. Lynn with the call. One, two, Lynn get three as he starts to chase down Yo Fear. Buyback on FNG, the rest of Vertis Pro. They know they have to get so much out of this fight, but complexity, they're like, just get out, guys, get out, get out as fast as possible, and it's a clean retreat. They'll lose a single hero. Rex. Full buybacks from BP, everything in the world gained by complexity, and BP now backs against potentially a killer with it. And her armor's actually not that high. And he's got AC. Hype. Right. Guard 2 to be used. All on you. We start pulling the back into TNT, and it is successful. Pulling a half of it into Arby Town. The first grab is going down, and they gush off Yoku. Immediately, the Oracle responds to the false promise. Well, of BKB being used. A lot being closed by Virtus Pro, but it's still getting so much. That's going to be Lynn. They keep him around this middle of the street area. They will be able to hold the Ravage and he came to back in. And he wants to save it. Oh, Lynn, he's going to go down, but it doesn't matter. Come like they've already got the damage out. Chessie starts to be fourth. They have to back on the X. And they want to finish the game. They take it off the news. And they're going to find Rapier. Come like they're going to go for it. They take FT. Yoko, bring up here to find Rapier. Save your life. Oh, the doctor just picks up by like No Fear. They need to be able to kill No Fear somehow. And that get the Divine Rapier back in the hands of Yoko. Right. They have to get the call. Oh, the yeah. Oh, Joe Beer won't get at point down. Yoko, him against the world with the buyback coming out now. But got it. Who gets back to face? Will be able to pick up the fight right here. And all complexity is retreating away. Another call. And going to be the target. Already down to half HP. And Chessie wants to be able to finish off. And he is successful. Two members down. Down permanently. And three without buyback. Versus pro on the edge. He corrects the center. Oh, that has to find a time. Chessie close by. But the tornado allows them to be able to engage. And they might go back in the hack. Save the team. He's the opportunity. He's the key. So the Yoku to just able to silence Yoku. He's the pal. Aloha Dan is able to respond in time. Ball from keeping him alive. He's going be activated. Lip is bounding. Actually, a ton of damage. Lip will go down again. That's two minutes on the clock. Now, complexity. Got to get the hell out of dodge. They can't afford to lose any more heroes with one down for so long against the Divine Rape here. I actually thought that game was over entirely, but they the just put it twice before. Or even just the Invoker getting the chance to right click Yoku. They can't afford to let complexity determine how this fight's gonna be able to start. FNG goes to the jump on the chest, even though they don't immediately put the stop that one. He's in the action, now the call back. get a lap on the window, but he just gets blown up. That's right, goes down so damn fast. And Yoku can't actually get enough in return. Maledict is taken down on Lim. He'll be looking healthy in another 10 seconds time. 60 more seconds on the clock. The bottom lane of Rax is simply being rent by just creeps alone. Complexity, they don't care. They feel in this game. Tier 3 already down the mid lane. Swiddle starts jumping forward. He's just able to blow down some of these heroes. There it is. Four down, four down. He's up the Ravage. He's actually pulled up by Lim as well. And now the Ravage goes out of Yoku, out of mana, out of HP. He's dead for two minutes. The pitch goes taken out here. Complexity took their time, but they secured this win. Air cut and they stood to almost an hour long match, but will put us here at Epicenter. They were not messing around this game, and they had a very funky draft, but.
got so much early game control that completely kept BP in the base. They starved him out. They eventually take some team fight wins.